Hi, my name is Jan from uh, Nosto and I'm going to run you through the implementation process of uh, the triggered emails. So Nosto features automatic triggered emails um, that you can use to retarget the customer to increase uh, customer retention and customer lifetime value. Every email of Nosto is actually personalized based on the purchasing behavior of your consumer uh, as well as his browsing behavior. That's what makes Nosto's uh, retargeting emails so valuable. Nosto features three different email types. That's the abandoned cart email, which is triggered whenever a customer leaves any products in the cart but doesn't actually convert. And we have the order follow-up email. Um, the reason here and the, the goal is to, to upsell the customer with relevant complementary items based on his last purchase. And we have the we miss you email. Um, this is uh, targeted after consumers um, that are dormant or haven't come back to your shop uh, in a while. The first step before you begin is actually to check if Nosto is receiving the email addresses from your customers. If you're using any one of our extensions, such as Shopify or Magento, this customer information tagging is done automatically. To basically check if that is the case, go into campaigns um, and then browse emails to see if we're actually receiving any email addresses um, so we can retarget the customer. Um, if you did a manual install of Nosto, you can verify this uh, very easily here. Um, if you don't see any, any emails, uh, you should double check if your Nosto tagging, so basically the technical installation of Nosto has been done correctly. So please go to uh, our tagging guide um, and check that out. Uh, alternatively, and this is the second um, way to check if Nosto is receiving any emails, is to use our preview mode. Um, this preview mode can be activated um, by basically adding a string to the URL, as you can see here. Uh, Nosto debug equals true. Um, and then basically logging into your shop. Um, if we basically see uh, any customer information such as email and name, um, then the tagging has been done correctly. Before the first email can be sent out to your customers, we need to start managing the email addresses that you add to the Nosto dashboard and also verify um, that the domain and the email address you use actually belongs to you. Since we use Amazon SES as our email service providers, we need to go through uh, the validation process through through them. Um, so let's just go through that process step by step. I'll just go here into the campaign abandoned cart. And as you can see, you have uh, several options here. Um, but the first step that you should take uh, is look at creating a new sender address. Um, so this could be anything from info at or sales at or support at and then your domain. And this is the first step you would add that email um, and once you've successfully added that you will get a verification email uh, that gets uh, sent to your inbox um, of that email that you've provided and obviously that has to be an email that you have access to so you can verify that email you just press save and send verification email here all right so let's actually set up an abandoned cart email campaign. So we're back at campaigns, email campaigns, um, and now I'm going to choose this abandoned cart reminder. Uh, mind you, we've already set up the email uh, sender address uh, and we've also verified that Nosto receives all the email addresses of your customers. Once you open up a Nosto account, all the email campaigns are running in test mode which means the emails are generated, but of course not sent until you have switched um, the lever here to active. So let's leave it here at, uh, on the test mode and see what kind of options we have. Start with the minutes to wait. This is the, the time frame that you want uh, to, to wait between uh, basically the customer leaving the item in the cart uh, and then you retargeting him uh, with personalized uh, recommendations and a nice abandoned cart email. We recommend to, to stay with the 30 minute uh, time frame. Um, for some merchants, let's say with higher priced items, uh, it might make sense to uh, switch that out to maybe an hour, two hours or even sometimes up to 24 hours. And that is fully up to you. 
here. Let's uh, continue adding some uh, more metadata for the email. This would be displayed right. as um, the sender as well as the name. Um, continuing here, we have the uh, email address. We've already set this up. Um, so this is just a test account, uh, but here you would have uh, the email that you've just set up. Subject line could be anything from your shopping cart. You could also make it even more personalized um, and use, for example, a for each loop here to actually print um, the very products the consumer has left in the cart. But let's just leave it with your shopping cart. Uh, additional text such as unsubscribe um, uh, text. And then here, editing the template. I think this, this is probably the most important part for you, making sure that uh, the logo uh, is, is, of course, your own logo from your company, um, amending some of the, the colors um, as well as kind of the, the copy to make it sound uh, in line with, with your uh, brand message. Uh, if we continue down here, we'll have finally the, the headings for the recommendations that are included um, in your email. Um, and Nosto, especially the abandoned cart email, comes with uh, three uh, recommendation types. The recommendation one is uh, the uh, cart items that are left in the cart. Um, then we have cart related um, items where we, we suggest you uh, to use the following title here. Customers who bought these also bought. So a nice way to, to upsell your, your client. And finally, um, you can see uh, a browsing history uh, in that email. So products you've considered. I will leave um, some of those points uh, up to a different video. Here you can see some uh, information regarding coupon codes, but we have a separate video for that. And, and finally, before you make sure, uh, before you send out the emails, you want to make sure that uh, you preview uh, that email um, and the copy so everything looks nice and neat um, before sending it out. So here you have the possibility to actually use mock-up data or uh, real data from your customers. Um, all of these are of course possible. So if I go ahead and, and click preview, mind you this is this is a test account so there will be no, no actual data but you can see it's being generated um, correctly. So let me just close that again. So once you've done that, I think you're more than ready to, to set it live. Um, so just go up here, uh, switch it off to active uh, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, just uh, let us know at support at We look forward to hearing from you.